Pan got his quills. It was sunrise when the jackal came across the porcupine. In those days, the porcupine had a beautiful shiny coat that was smooth and silky. Greetings, porcupine. How are you? asked the jackal. As you know, jackal, a creature with my good looks and exquisite coat is always fine. See how my coat glistens in what remains of the sunlight. The jackal was only slightly surprised by the porcupine's reply. All the animals knew that the porcupine was vain and proud. And when the stars come out, my lovely coat will continue to shimmer in the moonlight. I am beautiful, unlike you, jackal. This upset the jackal. Who knew his coat was dull and dry? He didn't take kindly to the comment, but managed to respond with grace. You are indeed handsome. That would be hard for you not to notice, Jackal, ugly as you are. Quite so, said the Jackal, now totally fed up. And who began to trot away from the porcupine? Going so soon? Teased the porcupine. Obviously, my amazingly good looks make it impossible for you to gaze upon me for so long. This last comment was too much for the jackal to take. He decided to employ his natural cunning and trick the porcupine if he could. You are truly the most handsome creature, porcupine, said the jackal. But I know of one who can make even you, as exquisite as you are, far more handsome. Really? said the porcupine. And where is that one? Just over there, said the jackal. Hidden! In the large thorn bush, that one has the secret to absolute perfect beauty. The porcupine was so excited that he walked quickly to the thorn bush. Oh, porcupine, called the jackal, before you you think you should remove your coat and leave it with me for safekeeping, you know? You wouldn't want the thorns on that bush to damage it now, would you? The porcupine, who was beside himself with the anticipation of becoming even more beautiful, did not waste a moment. He removed his coat and handed it to the jackal. The porcupine jumped into the thorn bush. Ouch! Ouch! Ah! Screamed the porcupine as the sharp thorns dug into his back. He shuffled and shook, shimmed and shook. Long black and white thorns would not come off. He ran back to the jackal. Very angry indeed. The jackal was laughing as he said, <laughs> Well, <laughs> can wear this beautiful coat anymore, so I shall keep it. This said, the jackal put on one hand until then beat the porcupine's beautiful shiny coat that was smooth and silky. And run off! 
Today, the jackal has an attractive coat while the porcupine is covered in quills.